Welcome back, everybody. Once again to From Flames. I am TJ the Obscure with you. Basically, picking up right where we left off last time. I did explore this building and took out the remaining zombies and whatnot. I also tested to see if buckets would buckets would work to uh, get the water out of the cauldrons, and it did. But then, whenever I placed the water, um, it it uh, it I got struck by lightning. I was. Um, punished by the CTM gods for attempting to break the rules. Uh, let's head in. Oh, big lag spike with. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's not good. Uh oh. Um. Uh. Sure. I have no idea what that's gonna do. Man, that was a big, big lag spike. Oh, and I got the nausea. Everybody look away. Look away. Okay, it's not too long. Not too long. Man, okay. Let's hope there's no more of that. I did just load in the world. I probably should have let it load in a little longer. We have this little, like, sewer-looking thing over here. Let's go ahead and investigate. And see uh, what we have. Hey. Let me through. Let me through, I say. It is just a chest. I thought it was going to take me somewhere. Um, huh, okay, that seems odd. I'll take the apples. I don't really have much need for the other stuff, though. And we do have a little bit of coal, but we could probably use a little more. And let's see here, I, I kind of remember where there's like a, a base type thing, I think. Uh, there's a puppy dog. Puppy dog. Apples are good, pork chops are good. Don't need anything else. There's just, there's so much to explore in this map and so many different places to go. Um, but there, there it goes again. I don't know if that, that's just weird things with like um, the map being updated from like 1.4, I think was the original version to now or what, but yeah. Oh, look, there's, yeah, the little puppy dog spawner. Uh, we're gonna head to Orange Wool, which is right there, but like I said, I kind of remember there being a little, like, base. I want to set up somewhere, basically. And I think that the gas station can kind of serve that purpose. Uh, let's do that. Oh, gosh. Um. Oh, okay, the, are the puppy dogs just following me? What is going on, exactly? Uh, there's a ladder going up. I vaguely remember there being like a teleporter or something in this in this place. All right, you are dead. What kind of bow did you drop, anyways? I am curious about that. And where is your spawner at? Gosh dang it! Uh, knockback. That is totally totally useless. Anything in there? Nope. We do have an anvil. I might want to upgrade my pick or something. Oh, and some more lapis and some arrows. All the goodies, and let's start trying to store stuff here. Is there a furnace around by any chance? Yes, please. Let's cook up some pork chops. Store our white wool, and let me just get situated, and I will be right back with you. All right, well, first let's check and see what's up on top. Uh, it doesn't look like much of anything. That might be the gas station I was actually thinking of. This is more like the convenience store? No, this is like the garage, huh? Where they work on cars and stuff. Uh, yeah, I I want to say that if we dig down under one of these, there will be like a teleporter that we can use to take us to the monument, which I kind of forget where... Oh no, I remember where the monument is. It's in one of the tall buildings over in that direction. But this will be a nice base for us at least to start off on while we head into some of these early dungeons. Let's stick all you away. Uh, protection 1, can we use that for anything? I guess we can go ahead and throw it on our chest piece, although that seems maybe like it wasn't the best of ideas. And let's upgrade our sword and our pick as well. I think would be a good idea. There's a lot of custom loot in the map, and so this may not ultimately be worth it. Uh, but I'm going to do it anyways just to give us any kind of advantage that we can get. And I think the pick I want to do first, and then the sword. Uh, 
string. Do we have any string by any chance? I'm sure I can find some string around here somewhere, right? Like maybe over there in that spider tree. Spider tree, spider tree. Where we can get a power two bow going. And all that lovely stuff. Alright, so I think there's like a train full of pigmen over there. All the buildings have loot and things that we can search for, but for the most part I'm just going to go after the dungeons, and if we happen to stumble upon stuff or I get distracted, then we will uh, we will check things out. I do want to head over to this other gas station and the train with the pigmen, because I kind of remember there being like a custom sword that was pretty decent, even though we just kind of made our own sword here. Uh, I think there's a trader over here in the gas station. Let's do that and block it off. Slowness, instant damage. I will take the arrows. Ooh, there's already here to pigments. Uh, howdy there. Do you have a name? Nitwit. I left my cocoa beans. This looks like it's mainly for potions. So we can use it to get some awkward potions. Food with a fire resistance might be a good idea. It might also be a little too powerful, though. And arrows as well. This guy's going to be quite quite useful, I think. And that, and that. Anything else? Uh, basement. No trespassing. Private rooms. There's, like, some weird, like, cult stuff going on here or something. Um, are, are you angry? Are you upset with me? I feel like you're supposed to be mad at me, right? But is there something broken with the pigmen? This is really terrifying, you guys. Isn't that vintage beef's head? But like, with, like, grayer than normal? Okay, and I'm fairly certain that this connects to one of the dungeons. Geminos the Engineer. Our prayers. Oh, look at that. Anvils, just anvils left and right. I vaguely remember the music discs. You could use them for for trading, but that might be the first one that I'm thinking of. Our great lord, uh, Geminosan, G Gemini, G G G G G G G just a bunch of uh, gibberish. Gemini, the gibberish slinger. All right, there's that. Um, yeah, I'm fairly certain if we go this direction, it takes us to like another dungeon. We don't want to go there quite yet. What does this do? Well, somebody's attacking my villager guy, it sounds like. I hear lava in that direction. That did not do anything, I don't think. Yeah, who's who's attacking my villager guy? Let's not... He's attacking him through the... He has resistance, so I don't think that's going to matter very much. Let's go around and... Whoa, take out Mr. Zombie here. Uh, let's block that off. Oh gosh, block it off, guy. Eat the foods. Yummy, yummy foods. Actually, I think that this is where the shortcut comes out. Um, oops. Come here, guy. Ouch, don't give me the hungers. No hungers, please. Uh, play cube, something or other. Hey. What's going on with these paintings, man? Not cool. It looks like we probably have to unlock it, though. Let's go ahead and close that off. So that nobody can get inside of it. It's not a train, it's a... Uh, a truck, is what I was thinking of. And I do remember there being, like, pigmen in here or something. Oh, let me through, guy. Let me through. Destroy. And they're not primed. From the looks of it. Uh, looting plus unbreaking. It would be good for animals, but not much else that we can really use it for. Sure, that's one thing that's really going to get on my nerves about this map is just I'm going to have so much stuff in my inventory at all times. I should just, like, not grab any loot unless it's absolutely amazing and essential. Is there anything up here in the front? There is a chest for us with... Nothing all that amazing. I don't see any beacons over here, so is this entirely optional? Uh, oh, oh gosh, the black concrete. That is so 
very mean. I remember there being like ghosts or something over in this direction. Oh man, you just came out of nowhere, guy. Uh, ouch. Let me into the truck, please. Into the truck. Oh gosh, there's creepers. Things coming out after us from every which direction. It's a book. Uh, treasure hunt number one. Me be alone here. There'd be a crazy man in the zoo, but he don't leave it. Like, never ever. So I can write. Yes, about me. Treasure. In case I forget where it be. Yes, no one and not two will ever find it. It is buried. Oh yes, buried behind the station of oil under a heap of that yellowish something -y. Now I don't forget unless I forget the book. Oh. Okay, so we're on the lookout for some treasure, it seems. There's a crazy guy in the zoo. Um, are these... Oh my gosh, you guys are... Polar bears. Polar bears and creepers. Polar bears and creepers. Um, uh, I want to I wanna do the thingy. Did that do anything? Nope, that did not do anything. Um, let it up. And do that. And this. And that. Uh, okay. I feel very surrounded. Very, very, very surrounded. Oh, and the polar bears are freaking me out, man. Okay. Hi, doggy the dog. Hello. Uh, I don't remember this at all. Hey. Uh, a sweet yet deadly doggy. Oh, gosh. Don't hit the dog. I feel like he's trying to get at me. Um, hi, guy. What am I supposed to do here, exactly? How not to be bored. 1,000 methods of achieving self-happiness. Um, what are we doing? Fire protection set, enchantment books, extended fire potions. Huh. Do I have to, like, unlock this somehow? Small fortune, emeralds. Because the barrier blocks are preventing me from accessing anything. Yeah, maybe this is something that we just unlock later on? Oh wait, there's a button. Uh, oh gosh. Hey you, what are you doing in my zoo? Have you bought the ticket? You haven't. I know that because Mr. Morty, the ticket man, has been dead since the first day of the apocalypse. Well, I can forgive you this intrusion because I may have a task for you. Listen, not everyone in the ruins of Flemchester is as nice as I am. There is a crazy person named John, an acolyte of a pagan god, Geminos. He tried to kill me numerous times, and he is the reason I have installed a force field around myself. You can find John underneath the gas station belonging to Mr. Smartest. Find the secret chapel of Geminos. John should be hiding somewhere underneath it. Bring me his mask. In return, I will allow you to choose one of the treasures I have in my garden. Okay, interesting. We've already kind of discovered some of that. Fire protection set, enchantment books, extended fire potions, small fortune, emeralds, cocoa beans, and a notch apple. Um, fire protection, no thank you. The extended fire potions, again, they seem like they might be a little overpowered, so we'll probably just go with that stuff. Let's go, let's go find John's mask or whatever. Maybe light some more of this stuff up. Ooh, they're, they're fighting amongst themselves. Uh, let's go around eight. Guy. Okay. Lock that off. For now, there's some iron here. Don't mind if I do. Uh, yeah, let's go around this direction. Some coal. I need a fortune pick. And... What is this? That's for the parrots. It would seem. And then we have the polar bear dudes. It's so cool, the little zoo like this. A zoo would actually be a cool theme for a CTM map in general. I feel like I've seen, I, th I think in Ragecraft 1, there was kind of like an area that was supposed to be kind of zoo themed. Could be wrong about that though. I don't know, if, are these guys angry with me? I know the archer is angry with me, but um, are the, I mean, I know the polar bear is going to be angry with me if I, oh, come on, guy. Gosh, dang it. Stay away, please. Uh, 
Yeah, take out the horse. And take out the guy. Fantastic. Are you guys going to try to attack me? I hope not. Uh, nope. Down one. Ooh, okay. I feel like they're trying to. That's just some fish and stuff. Nothing... Nothing there that's too important. Okay. Run and jump. And jump and run. Uh, possibly some loot here. Got some torches. Nothing else, really. Gosh, I said I was just going to be going after the after the dungeons, and here I am. Already getting distracted. Every which way I look. I thought I saw a piece of iron there. I don't think we looked inside of this truck. Is there anything inside of this truck? Uh, open the door. Open sesame. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Nope. I don't think so, at least. Uh, okay, let's sneak out the back, then. And let us go find John's head, shall we? It's it's amazing to think that this was made in version 1.4, 1.5, I think, is when it was first released. What they achieved, I mean, this more than I think any other map, really um, creates that sense of a whole new world. I'd say almost a whole new game. And... Again, does that so much better than any other map I've ever played. It's very, very impressive. Wait, where was that at? Was it in the other building? Perhaps it was. Oh, I see where the spawner is, think guy. Let's take that out. Didn't you say it was, like, behind the, uh... The gas station? Alright, John. John's head, right? Is what we're looking for. Um, I'm thinking that it's that one there in the back, maybe? But then there's also... You're, you're Geminos. I feel like you're supposed to be aggroed, man. Kind of unfortunate that you're not. It's gonna be trapped. Trapped. Uh, no, that's the same head. Geminos' head. Is this John's head? Uh, that's just a zombie head. Is there one that's just, like, slightly different or something? It's possible that I already picked it up, like, maybe whenever I broke the way down here or something? Uh, or maybe we have to look elsewhere for it. What did I do with the heads that I had picked up here earlier? I'm assuming I stuck them in a chest somewhere. Okay, that one was just a wither skeleton skull. I'm thinking we probably have to go down that ladder and we'll find it eventually. Uh, but again, like I said, I think it connects to the light blue wool. Because whenever I played this uh, multiplayer with people from the CTMC, I kind of got split up from the group because it was very, very unorganized, as those playthroughs often are. And I ended up going down the hole over here to go after uh, Magenta and Light Blue. And I remember stumbling back through there. I don't know, I came out somewhere. Uh, where's, where's the orange? Oh, is this, is this it? You know what, I'm fairly certain I remember this, and it being just absolutely insane. Right, isn't this the one with, like, the alternate dimension and stuff? Uh, let's close that off. There's a staircase going up. Dude, I'm just trying to get myself some loot here, please. Uh, bread is good. Regen. All the things. Um, yeah, there's one where, like, you go into the nether, and this might be it. Although I remember that one being really hard, so I'm surprised if it's going to be the, uh, the orange wool here. 
but this this might be it. In which case, let's just keep going up, I suppose. Uh, I like what I have more. Yep. I hear the portal already. Ooh. Oh, wait, was that a inner chest? No. Sharpness. Oh, get out of here, all you junk. Wolves. Um... Oh, I gotta remember to take the cocoa beans, gosh dang it. Oh, there's a chest down there. Whatever, let's let's just head up. I would like to uh, actually make some progress, if at all possible. Uh, let's do that. Serum the Unmaker. I have no idea what that's all about, man. And it's creepy, like, it, it involves ghosts, I think. There's, like, a bunch of invisible villagers. I guess we'll see here in just a moment. And grab all of that stuff. And nothing over there, I don't think. Boom. Uh, you are allowed to enter the nether here. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, seems like you are hallucinating. Never forget the something. Uh, start blocking off all the directions, I say. Uh, light it up. Uh, take out spawners. Yeah. Those are the ghost-like guys. That's the boss mob spawner right there. So it must be around here somewhere, yeah? Oh, once again with the lag spikes. Um... Whoa. I don't remember any of this stuff. You, 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 you not? Yeah. Uh. Huh, I could have sworn the bo Bosma was just like right here. Oh, he dropped a piece of iron for me. Don't mind if I do. No, not that. Give me the iron. Um, maybe I'm thinking of something else. I, I could have sworn that this place was like filled with creepers and stuff. But that does not seem to be the case. Let's make some more torches. And keep exploring. I guess we probably want to head further down then. Would make the most sense here. Now let's do that. And do that. And do that. Uh. Oh man. Oh gosh, guy, you scared me. Um, let's try to block you off. It did not work very well at all. The, uh, lag spikes are a little problematic and a little worrisome here. I guess we want to go further down then. That. Ooh, the thorns is quite, quite powerful. Start lighting up all the things. Oh, such close, close quarters. 
Close quarters is very scary. We're just going around in circles at this point. Uh, furnace? 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 Nothing in the furnace. Maybe we want to head outside then? Uh, what are you? Splash water bottle. No thank you. Block it off. A bunch of records. Um... Oh, there's some creepers now. What are we doing exactly? Uh, there's barrier blocks here on top. I have zero recollection of this. I feel like maybe they changed this. You know what, let, let me see if turning down my render distance helps at all with the frame rate and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I don't have any recollection of this. Very, very strange. Where did we enter from, exactly? Can we just enter from right here? Oh gosh, I can't see. Who is who? Uh, maybe, maybe we can't? Okay, let's block you off. Just to be safe here. Follow the green stuff, I guess. I am so confused, you guys. Um, I don't, I don't think is something wrong, like with the texture. Why is it that every freaking map that I play nowadays has to use barrier blocks in some way? Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I will most likely just do this off camera just because... Oh, and the the, the lag spikes too. But I'll. it's just going to be me wandering around aimlessly, very slowly, and getting very frustrated. So, this is not at all how I remember this, this orange dungeon. I remember it, you come in here and, and they were just like creepers galore and like the whole thing just exploding, but... Again, yeah, maybe they changed it or something. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.